Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil Upgrade video. Today is again time for new Blender version and exciting new features all for free. In the case of the Grease Pencil, since its refactor, missing features are still being added back, while as many as 11 new ones have been rolled out. Can you believe it? So let's start with the missing features from Grease Pencil 2.0. Four were added back and some of them were improved or adapted to the new system. System. Boundary strokes are finally back with a new name, fill guides and some improvements. When the fill tool is selected, holding alt while drawing creates a stroke to help you close any gaps before filling an area. These guides are invisible in renders and an option was added to the fill tool in the advanced menu to automatically remove guides once a fill is made. Operator to remove fill guides, previously boundary strokes, was added under Grease Pencil Clean Up in Edit Mode and Draw Clean Up in Draw Mode. Note that previously we had two operators, one to clean up boundary strokes in the current frame and the second to clear all frames. Only the latter was kept. The Stroke Split operator was added back. It allows turning selected points to a separate stroke. You can access the operator from the Grease Pencil menu then Split or using the new shortcut Shift V in instead of V previously. The feature was also improved to not leave gaps between the original and the newly created strokes. The outline operator to convert a stroke to an outlined area was added back to edit mode. Find it in the stroke menu. And now to the new goodies. Grease Pencil now has its own render pass. To enable it, go under the View Layer Properties panel, Passes, then Data, and tick the Grease Pencil checkbox. Now, after you render a frame, you can choose your view layer from this drop down and choose Grease Pencil from this one. Note that occluded strokes, the ones behind a mesh, are not rendered in this pass. This feature is useful for people doing compositing. A Grease Pencil rendering filter per view layer was added under the view layer properties panel filter include. This allows you to isolate grease pencil strokes or exclude them from renders. New super sampling anti-aliasing SSAA method for rendering was added. This solves an eternal aliasing issue with grease pencil strokes, which also caused animations to flicker. This feature alone makes the upgrade to Blender 4.5 worth it. The new rendering method has its advantages and disadvantages. I made a separate video explaining how to use it in detail with some speed and quality tests compared to the old renders. Link in the description. The minimum thickness clamping of points has been removed. This means that points couldn't have a thickness smaller than a certain amount. It was done due to previous rendering limitations, but now with the introduction of SSAA, points can have a radius greater or equal to zero with no more aliasing artifacts or disappearing points. Filtering by layer group was added to modifiers. So now for any modifier that supports layer filtering, you can choose to have it exclusively affect a certain group of layers or exclude that group from being affected. Geometry Notes integration is getting better with a new Grease Pencil submenu under the Add menu and searchable layer names. Three new Grease Pencil nodes were also added. Set Grease Pencil Depth, which allows ordering strokes either using 2D layers or 3D location, just like the usual setting under the Object Data Properties panel. The Set Grease Pencil Color node controls the color and opacity of strokes or fills. And lastly, the Set Grease Pencil Softness node that controls stroke softness. No tools for Grease Pencil are here. These permit you to harness the power of GeoNodes to create your own custom operators. Tools that you make then are able to access from the Blender menus and apply to strokes. You can save your tools as assets, move them to the menu of your choice or share them with other people. And like the regular use of GeoNodes as a modifier to add non-destructive effects to strokes, no tools are handy to apply a quick and permanent or destructive 
perspective change to your grease pencil drawings. If you want to learn how no tools work, I've made a video tutorial for you, link in the description. Options to mask a layer with the one above or below it were added to the extra menu, the down arrow button, in the layers panel and the grease pencil dope sheet. New convert curve type menu was added to edit mode under the stroke menu to replace the set curve type menu in Blender 4.4. This allows you to convert strokes between a few types of curves and with the new system we have a threshold value to control the fidelity to the original stroke versus the number of control points. This is a very important feature to me especially the Bezier type as it replaces curve editing from Grease Pencil 2. 2.0, but for now it's still incomplete because it has no corner detection and still suffers from a few bugs. But once it matures, we should be able to control strokes the same way other vector apps like Inkscape or Illustrator do, and animate or rig strokes with only a handful of points. Onion skinning can now be shown for the active object only. The option was added to the grease pencil overlay menu in the viewport. This allows for less clutter in the viewport when working with multiple grease pencil objects. Grease Pencil SVG Exporter now exports animations in addition to still images. So now you can play your animations inside your favorite browser and display them in your websites, while keeping the same scalable vector nature of Grease Pencil. To do it, first make sure you are in Object Mode, then go to the File menu, Export Grease Pencil to SVG. Now you can choose the objects, active, selected or all visible grease pencil objects, then choose the frames to export, the active one, selected keyframes or all existing keyframes. And as usual, there are some Python API changes and additions. The API allows a programmer to access Blender's functionality through code to create custom scripts or add-ons. If you want to know about all the API changes in this version, check the description for the release notes page. New data reveals that approximately 400,000 people are missing in Gaza amid an ongoing massacre backed by the world's most most powerful nations. The least we can do is speak up and pray for the oppressed. Thanks for watching, see you in another video, and as always, peace. You want to learn and play, and that's exactly what you should be doing, Lean, because you're a kid, you're three. Every child should get to have a childhood. This breaks my heart, Lean. No child should ever have food, water, or medical care blocked from them. Every child, no matter where they're born, has human rights. Please, no more bombs. Read them. Lean, you deserve to feel safe. You should be coloring with crayons and kicking balls. Adults should be creating a world for you where you're laughing, playing, and going to school, not where you're running from bombs.